Hi everybody and welcome back to The Upside Dan. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Frank Herbert novel adaptation Dune from 2021. This will be a spoiler free review of Dune. Feature adaptation of Frank Herbert's science fiction novel about the son of a noble family entrusted with the protection of the most valuable asset and most vital element in the galaxy. Dune is directed by Denis Villeneuve and written by John Spates, Eric Roth, and Denis Villeneuve. This film stars Timothy Chalamet, Rebecca Ferguson, Oscar Isaac, Zendaya, Jason Momoa, Stellan Skarsgård, Josh Brolin, Sharon Duncan Brewster, Javier Bardem, Chang Chen, and Dave Bautista. So I was very excited for this film, you know, just for the grand scope that it seems to be, you know, about this grand story. And for the cast, I'm especially a fan of Timothy Chalamet, but I'm, I mean, I'm pretty much a fan of this whole cast. There's really talented actors behind these characters in this adaptation. Now, I will say sci-fi epics, you know, long sci-fi epics, you know, it's kind of slow burn ones, aren't usually my thing. Like, I wasn't a fan of Blade Runner or Blade Runner 2049. They looked amazing. Blade Runner 2049 had amazing visuals, which is to be expected from Denis Villeneuve, but it just wasn't my cup of tea. So I actually didn't know if I was going to love this movie or not. And, uh, you know, I went into it though, knowing some things, you know, I heard that the, it, the beginning was very slow and the kind of a slog, but um, I went into it and I was pretty much enamored and intrigued pretty much from start to finish with this movie. There were some boring spots here and there, but like I said, for the most part, I was into it. I was very swept up in this lore, in this story, and I, I didn't feel bored too much during this movie. And I think that this cast just does a really good job here. Timothy Chalamet I thought was excellent, Oscar Isaac I thought was excellent, Rebecca Ferguson I thought was excellent. There were some lines, especially by Rebecca Ferguson, that I couldn't hear. She was like whispering, and some of it was like kind of praying, so I understand it was under her breath, but I, I couldn't hear it in the theater. But I, I mean, I kind of got what she was kind of going for. And then when I watched it, we watched it on HBO Max. I watched stuff with subtitles, so I understood. But no, I think that the cast really did great here. Jason Momoa was another standout for me because he really was having a ball with this film. You could tell just by his presence, the way he, you know, delivered dialogue. And the way he acted out scenes, whether they were action scenes or dialogue driven scenes, he was really into this movie. And I absolutely loved that. But really, everybody, I, I can't think of really anyone that was ba a bad, you know, actor or actress. I think everyone brought their talent to this film in different ways, including Denis Villeneuve. He is a great director. I really, really think he has such an eye for visuals and good storytelling. And that is seen here. He really directed the heck out of this. I thought it was written pretty well because it's, I mean, it's a long book. I don't know much about it, but I, I understood a lot of the stuff, you know, there is some, you know, lore and words that exist in this world that kind of are hard to understand and get, especially the first time around. But I, I could tell that I was really into it and I could tell that I understood most of it. I thought that was good writing. I thought, yes, I thought there's, a, so there is a lot of characters here and while they all do great jobs acting their parts out, I wish that we got some more time with some characters. And I know there's gonna be a, another part or two. Um, some people are saying another part or two. Some people are saying there's gonna be a trilogy. I don't know, um, I had never read the book. I just wish we had more time with some of these characters, but I think that the time we did get was good. I felt they did a good job with how lengthy the um, source material is. I, I really do. I was immensely entranced in this world, this lore, these characters, this story for the runtime. The score, um, I'm waiting to get to my favorite part. I mean, I mean, all these, I love this. But um, the score is amazing, like absolutely breathtaking. It brings you into this world and this story. Hans Zimmer is just a masterful, masterful composer. I think he is the best or one of the best in the biz. Oh, this score is just really great and just adds to the film overall. Okay, so that now I want to get to one of my biggest positives. Not that all that wasn't, you know, positive because it was, I loved it, but the visuals here are breathtaking to me. I was enamored. I was amazed. I was just dumbfounded at times. Sometimes my jaw was on the ground of the movie theater. Oh, these visuals I thought were excellent. Some of the best visuals that I've seen in film. Period. Definitely up there. I really think that like the worm, the sandworm looked real. I would have thought that they went to another universe, a universe where that exists, grabbed a sandworm and brought it back. 
there was this mouse rat thing, you know, this space rat mouse something. This animal that it focuses on for a little bit and it looks real. <laughs> it looks real and even when it's not focused on the rat it's um timothy shemmy and um rebecca ferguson they're coming out of the sand dunes i believe that's the part and the rats just kind of in the background moping around it looked real beautiful beautiful locations i actually kind of wish we got more looks at you know some of the locations the planet of the caladan where house Trades um is you know originally from originally rules i wish we saw um, you know the people there more of that world i do think that this this film is such a grand scope and such amazing visuals. It would have been cool to see more locations. We do see a lot and I really appreciated all the visuals that we did get, but I do wish that we got more of the world. I, uh, and even, like I said, more of some of the characters, but I did think they did a really good job with how many characters that they do have. And I'm definitely looking forward to part two. So, I mean, those are kind of my negative, the last, like, you know, the wanting to see more of this world, like literal locations and stuff. The locations that we did get looked amazing. Like I said, the visuals were absolutely top notch. But I wish that we saw maybe just a scene of the people that they rule, what they think of everything, you know? And I thought that would have been cool. You get a little bit when they get to, um, when they get to Arrakis, you do get some of the people that live there. The ending wasn't a complete ending if they weren't continuing it, but I understand if, even if people knew that Dune Part 2 was coming, I can understand. They're like, okay, that kind of ended abruptly, but not for me really. I thought that it was a pretty good ending. They could have found a little bit better ending to end off Part 1 on. Like, I feel like Harry Potter Part 1 ended at a really good cliffhanger. Honestly, don't remember any more Part 1s. <laughs> But I, I didn't have that much of a problem with the ending. It's a long movie, but I think that it's worth it. I, I didn't feel the length all that much. Sometimes I did. But for the most part, like I said, I was pretty intrigued throughout. Uh, I do think that this is worth seeing on the biggest screen you can. I'm not sure if it's on HBO Max anymore, but if it is, um, I mean, you could watch it on there. I watched it there my second time, but I wanted to see it in the theater for the first time. And it was definitely an experience. I was wowed by these visual effects in this story and these characters. I am so excited for part two. Are you excited for part two? Before I get to my grade, I just want to make sure that you comment down below. Let me know all your thoughts on Dune. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you um, did you see it in theaters for the first time? Did you see it in HBO Max? Are you going to wait a while? Are you excited for Dune part two? Let me know down in that comment section, below up in that comment section. But what would I give Dune? Dune gets a nine out of 10 from me. That's a nine out of 10 for Dune. If you liked what you've seen here and you want to see some more, click around here to see something else. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video with the movie fans in your life, hit that notification bell, subscribe, and come to the Upside Dan.